Hey golfers, Rob Cheney here from Golf Tech Singapore. Uh, today's lesson is going to discuss a trouble shot, a shot you're going to need when you find yourself off the fairway, maybe stuck under some trees and you need to hit a low punch recovery shot back to the fairway. This is a shot that I see a lot of golfers need, but when I watch them try to execute it on the golf course, they seldom get it right. So I'm going to discuss a few of the options you've got and give you an exercise on how you can practice this for yourself. Okay, so let's take a look at the difference then between a standard seven iron shot and a low recovery shot, punch shot that you would hit when you need to keep the ball down. So starting at setup, an awful lot of this shot is built in at setup. Some of the changes are, quite a lot of the changes are built in at setup. So I'm gonna highlight a number of those to you now. First of all, the um, stance is wider in a standard shot. And as I go to hit the shorter punch shot, the lower punch shot on the, on the right hand side, I bring my feet closer together. Additionally, there's a change in the ball position and the shaft position at setup. So for a standard seven iron shot, I would play the ball, a couple of balls, two to three balls behind the center. So that would be the golf ball being maybe one, two, three balls behind the center of the swing um, with the handle just slightly ahead of the ball. With the punch shot, the main priority with the punch shot is to hit it low. Um, so the main factor that we need to influence here is the loft that we deliver to the ball. And we can build a lot of that reduced loft in its setup by moving the golf ball further back and by having the hands further forward. So the golf ball in this example golf ball in this example is one, two, three, four, maybe five balls back of the center with the shaft leaning further forward. That's really going to help me reduce the loft that I set up with, but also ultimately reduce the loft that I deliver to the ball, therefore producing a lower flighted shot. Another piece that often gets missed with this shot from down the line is how I actually stand closer to the golf ball. So to hit the punch shot, I'm standing closer to the ball than I am for a regular shot. And what that also serves to do is help me to swing a little bit straighter at the ball. So you'll notice, if we're being very observant, that the grid on the standard shot has the hand path and the club path a little bit more arced or angled than on the punch shot. The punch shot is a much straighter swing back and through. Um, that's a couple of reasons. It helps us to hit the ball straighter. Uh, it helps us to reduce some of the potential power that we would create if we swung on more of an arc. Um, so it's just an, it's an added piece for control. So by standing closer to the golf ball, you also uh, raise the shaft up a little bit higher as well. So you set up with the handle a little, not only more forward as we saw on the front view, but you also have your hands a bit higher up as well. And then really what we're trying to achieve with the punch shot is, is created mostly through a feeling in the wrists, um, which would be different from what we do with the standard shot. So as we swing back, my punch swing on the right here has less wrist hinge to start with. I haven't swung back as far. Um, and then most importantly, as I swing back down to the ball, what I'm able to do is maintain the bend in the back of my right wrist for longer. Um, that's really, again, a re reducing the dynamic loft is helping me to start the ball on a much lower trajectory. Conversely, as I hit the ball in my standard shot, by the time I hit the ball, the bend in my trail wrist is slightly less and the shaft has begun to just overtake my lead arm. Uh, that's not happened in the other video, in the other picture. So here we've got the, tr the shaft trailing the lead arm. And as I've hit the ball here, we're just beginning to see the shaft start to overtake. That's a huge, difference in terms of uh, how high that golf ball is going to launch. And then as we continue into the finish, the wrist, the feeling of keeping the wrists um, bent backwards and keeping the loft off the club continues. So I have a follow through here where my arms stay extremely straight 
there's very little release or recoil of the club and as I finish you'll notice that it's a very short looking golf swing as far as follow through is concerned. My arms have stayed very straight and that's helped me to keep the loft off the club. On the standard shot what you'll see is that there's a little bit more of a, a little bit more of a release of the golf club. Uh, the wrist will recock and rehinge a little faster and that does add not only height to my shot but it also gives me extra speed which allows me to hit my standard shot much further than my punch shot. So just to finalize that, you notice at the end of the swing there how my body motion is almost identical on both of those swings. So the real difference in the shot and how it was performed was through the function of the wrists and how they bend and release differently to create totally different shots in terms of height and in terms of distance that the ball's traveled. Okay, so now we've discussed the difference between the two swings, the standard swing and the low punch shot. I just wanna give you an exercise that you can do to help you to feel and, and understand the correct motion, particularly of the arms and the wrists, to keep the loft down off this shot and to ensure that ball comes out low. What I've done is I've taken the same seven iron I've been using for the shots I've already hit, and I've just placed an alignment rod or alignment stick down the shaft, so through the top of the grip, that's gone down the shaft there. And it's effectively just extended the length of this club. So I'm now gonna show you how you could use this, this um, modified club to make practice swings, whether at home or at the driving range, uh, to enable you to feel the correct motion. This can be done with or without a ball, but obviously it's a little bit more effective if you can do it with a ball, but it's, it's useful to just get the feeling of how the wrists, the arms, and the body move together in order to keep the loft off the club. Okay, so here's that drill swing. We'll just pull that up on the screen. Uh, this is gonna be somewhat similar to the, the actual punch shot that I hit previously, but I'm just gonna show you how the drill is sort of helping to exaggerate the pieces that I think are really important if you wanna to learn to hit a functional punch shot. Um, setup wise, feet are still relatively close together. Um, ball position is still back on the grid. Got it like three or four balls back and the shaft is very much leaning forwards handle forwards, which is helping us to create some of that bend in the trail wrist. That's the de-lofting part. Um, you can't really see it on this front view camera, but you can on the down the line. If you just look closely, you can make out the, the stick that is coming out the top of the shaft there as an extension of this club, and it's kind of resting on the side of my body. Now this drill, as we take the club back, you're gonna notice a lot of similarities between this and the actual punch shot that I did hit. Um, you're gonna see, first of all, there's still lots of turn. Okay, oftentimes people think because this is a punch shot, they don't need to move their body. You definitely need to move your body. My hips have turned 90 degrees, my shoulder, uh, sorry, my hips have turned 48 degrees, my shoulders have turned 90 degrees. But again, like the punch shot that I hit before, you'll notice how the wrists haven't really loaded a huge amount big part of keeping the loft off the golf club. As we move down towards impact, we're gonna see how, again, the wrists maintain that back bend in the trail wrist, and again, how the shaft of the golf club is very much leaning forwards when I hit the shot. You can just about make out the extension of the stick there just coming up my side. Now if I was to do this drilling correctly and let the club head overtake my hands too soon, I'd find that that stick would strike me in the side of my body. So I'd get the feedback that I'd be hitting the side of my body with a stick. So in order to keep the stick from your body, you have to maintain that bend in the back of the wrist and keep turning your body through impact. You'll see how I carry on here and continue to maintain this slight distance here with the club, the sticks just staying off my body keeping my arms really straight, tracing the arc of the follow throughs, the club and the hands are moving upwards and inwards. Keeping the arms very, very straight still and you'll even notice there's still a little bit of back bend in that trail wrist. So similar, similarities to the punch shot that I did hit, 
but some exaggerations as well. So this drill is really good for helping me to feel the things I need to do more of if I'm going to hit a functional uh, uh, pitch or punch shot out from under the trees. Uh, this is a really useful shot to train and have in your bag. Uh, give it a try. Let me know what you think. If you found the, the uh, video useful, please consider giving it a thumbs up. If you don't already, please subscribe to my channel. If you have any questions about this video, please post them in the comments down below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Thanks for watching. See you next time.